So the uh, human gastrointestinal tract or the GI tract is a fascinating uh, environment because it has more than trillion or hundreds of trillions of bacteria which are actually inside there. Now these bacteria are not just stationary sitting there, they're active. They break down things, they make products that we as humans use, uh, they can they communicate with one another but more importantly it's now started coming out that they also communicate with the human cells that are in there so it provides a very fascinating uh, question how do these things which are completely different from one another survive in harmony in an environment in synchron synchrony with one another so that is the basic question that we are trying to address in our lab the way we do it is we now we take an approach where we said okay if the environment is so complex can we recreate that environment that complexity in a micro format in the lab so we bring in this whole concept of microfluidics or lab on a chip where we start we take a small chip if you will and then we recreate the environment so that we can actually simulate the gastrointestinal tract in a small chip which is the size of a glass slide. So what we do here is we can grow human cells, we can grow bacteria together without one taking over the other, one you know ruining the other. We can use it to study important things which are which influence infection. Like for example, how do these bacteria migrate to the surface? How do these pathogenic bacteria outcompete other good bacteria and get to the surface? And how do they actually cause the infection? So our goal is to create all these events in a microfluidic format or recreate it in a microfluidic format so that we can then understand what is happening. If you understand what is happening there, you can then move it towards developing drugs or therapies for combating bacterial infections that take place in the GI tract.